All right, welcome back everybody to the episode of City Skyline. So yeah, I was just admiring our work over here. It looks pretty good. I went back, I put a bunch of the lane mark, or you know, changed the lanes so that they know where they're going. I tweaked some of these spots so the curves look better. Tried to get rid of a lot of the glitches as I could, and it, it's looking pretty good. We just need to complete it, kind of cap it off with connecting it into this road. There's already quite a good amount of traffic on here. I really wasn't expecting a whole lot, but... Like, it doesn't look like it right now, but there's actually, yeah, like, there's actually a lot of traffic, and a lot of these seem to be using it uh, to be going out to, of course, the industry, but also to, you know, a quicker way into the uh, shopping center, so that's that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. We'll, we'll probably take a drive over the, uh, hop on one of these cars and take a drive over the bridge when we get, uh, we get a chance here in a little bit, but the intersection I want to fix up now that needs it now because of all this is going to be this one here. So it's going to be a little bit of busy work, but that's all right. Okay, so we are going to just make that like that. We are going to put a, we're actually going to put a traffic light right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the lane connector. So this one, yes, it is going to be a left or right. Uh, but this is only going to be for people turning left. People going straight, it's going to be there. Uh, this over here, yep, we're going to be like that and that. But this one's only going to be for people going straight. Only for people going straight. There we go. And then, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, but this one's only going to be going that way. We don't want any U-turners or anybody trying their their luck in that turn there. Okay, that was actually a lot quicker and a lot simpler than I expected. Uh, let's just do one last little detail. Whoa, that was not the right last little detail. There we go. Alright, so we'll put a yield sign, so... What What was that? Okay. But yeah, so if they want to turn down there, now they just take this little slip road. Otherwise, they go this way. Uh, or this way, I meant. And then these guys can go whichever way they want, and these guys can turn left here. That works out pretty well. So that'll get these guys onto a traffic light, make that intersection a little bit safer, especially with the amount of traffic that comes through here. Now this is pretty useless right now, because we don't really get any color differentiations, but at least we get the pink line, and we kind of see that a majority of these residents over here are actually using this freeway, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, I did uh, put a couple on-ramps over here, so I'm not sure if I like the curve here. I think I actually do, but I might try straightening it off first, just to... Uh, you know, see what that's like. I'm not fully convinced on this one, but it works. You know, it's a little bit of a curve, so uh, it wasn't really a whole lot of room in between these two, so that's that's kind of what I was having to work with. Um, these two could probably use a little bit of work. I worked on this a little bit, got it looking a little bit better. I want to fix this end of it now, but I mainly worked on this side, so I got it looking, you know, pretty decent, so that's good. But I just went through and did all the lane marking and made sure everybody knew where they were going. And now we just need to finish it off, and then we'll be good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is uh, this is turning out for sure. I always like to say for sure. Okay, look at this traffic jam. Do we need a traffic light here? I guess it wouldn't hurt, would it? I was going back and forth on whether we actually need a traffic light there, but looks like we do. What are we waiting on over here now? I don't think this works. Nope. What are you? What are you stuck? Why are you stuck? Um, if we do a priority sign, yeah, there's no priority signs. If we make that a stop sign, are you gonna go? You're just stuck. What are you, you're, oh, you're causing such a traffic jam. Like, seriously, what? Uh, uh alright, you know, I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. Let's hope that sorts itself out. Okay, I have not paid attention to this road in, uh, oh boy. In a little while. In a little while. I think this is rush hour traffic jam, right? Are they coming home, I think, from work? Wow, that's insane. So, the main culprit... Uh, even this side's backing up. Jeez. All these people coming over here. I think... I think we are going to work on some buses here very shortly because that that's yeah it's time it is time especially since we got these higher density areas you know these these real you know condensed you know areas we definitely need to to you know work on those a lot more uh let's go and add a couple more cemeteries out over here i've been meaning to do that for the past couple episodes if i can find what i'm looking for geez it's like i've never played the game before 
I do that a lot though. It's like I just start clicking. I just start clicking around. It's like, all right, were those um, those aren't like one. No, those are just over one. I think they're like two. So I'm gonna try that. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I press T. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, was that right? It looks like it's a little off. Yeah, it's off by one, I think. Oh, well. Almost. 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 Okay. And then we'll come down this one. There we go. These don't take out any... Well, we're going to take out power lines anyways, so... Alright. I have a real, uh... I have a real gift of putting power lines where I'm going to build. Which I guess it's pretty likely in this game. But I mean, like, you know, I'll put them down and, like, two episodes later I'll be building there. And I do that quite often. Is that one bigger than it needs to be? No, it's just the... Uh, okay, that was weird. It was just the... Uh, thing was off. Uh, let's grab this and let's make sure I put the power back. I was actually what I was going to do, but I ended up on that menu first, so it's all good. So let's just run power like that. Nothing pretty right now, but we'll, we'll go back and fix it all up. But that'll get us three more cemeteries into here. We're up to $2 million, so we're making some good money in the city. That's that's good to see. Uh, is any of our stuff... I think some of our stuff has started to develop in, which is nice. Yeah, even some of our high-density commercial and whatnot. So yeah, this traffic in this area is just going to get worse and worse and worse. As you can see, it's already pretty rough. Oh man, we need to work on some time. Oh man, it's backing it up all the way over here because no one can, uh, can get onto the freeway. And those are close together and they use the same lane. It's also this over here that's kind of messing things up. So we may, uh, we may, I'm going to take a look at that off camera. I won't deal with that right now. I'm not going to put you guys through that. Uh, is this a growable or is this something we plopped? I'm pretty sure this is growable. What is that? City bank? Did we plop that? No, that's that's growable. Okay. I would kind of like to lock that. Is my lock on? Nope. That no longer works. Alright. That actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Downtown is coming along quite nicely. Yeah, and I think the city's gonna, or the series is gonna start getting rendered at 30 frames per second because I'm barely, like, I... There are some points where I hit 40 frames per second, but as this city gets bigger and bigger and bigger, I am struggling to hit 40 frames per second. And, you know, what's the point of, of going at 60 when when you can't even tell? So, when there's literally nothing, you know, when 60's not even there. So, that's where I'm at. Oh, man. Yeah, this intersection's just all messed up here. I thought I got this pretty well solved, but I really didn't see it in rush hours, so... But actually, this side's moving pretty good, except for back here where it's still stopped. Yeah, we've got ourselves a proper a proper chat. Um, yeah, I can't talk. A proper traffic jam here. Those guys get to go because they are in the outside lane, but then they all just mess up here because then they're trying to get over, right? Yep. Why is everybody just hogging the middle lane? It's kind of odd. Like I, I understand a lot of people might be trying to get off there, but why are they hogging the middle lane? I don't know. Oh, well, well. Yeah, of course, it's messing everything else up, but this should sort itself out very shortly. <laughs> I'm just, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. So, uh, let's see, did we zone? We did not zone any of this out. So let's zone this out, because we actually have some building out here. This would actually be a pretty nice area to live. When I first built it, it probably would suck to live out here, because there was no easy access to anywhere even downtown it was it was like you know it wasn't terribly far but you know it was a little rough getting there but now they're gonna have a pretty good speedy connection to downtown and they have a good connection to the shopping center the major shopping center it's all gonna work out for them I'm sure their home values hopefully went up instead of down sometimes when the freeway comes through it doesn't always go up but hopefully it did in this case Okay. Yeah, this is all flowing good. Yeah, I pushed this uh, train track back, so now not, you know, one car gets there and the other stop, and then one stops, one stop, and then it just backs up. Uh, I would like to see, I don't think this area is going to be too bad. I may start plopping down some traffic lights, actually, 
on this thing because that's what I haven't done yet. Doesn't really need them. Probably could get away with stop signs, but I'm just gonna do it for now just to kind of kind of future proof this and just kind of get it ready. That's all. That's kind of what I want to go for. Uh, that one does have one now. Did that one get one? No. Thanks. All right, there we go. And really, really? I thought I put one on here. And okay, I know I checked these already, but I just I have to double check. All right, and we're probably gonna need one right here. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a complicated intersection, isn't it? So we've got train tracks, and we've got double front roads here. Yeah, we got many ways. Yeah, that that could go wrong there. Let's just hope it doesn't. Hey, look, a train that's gonna come through and disturb it. It's gonna mess it up. It's gonna mess this area up. Nah, not too bad. It's a pretty fast moving train. It's a passenger train, and luckily, when people are trying to get on over here, they can just get on, so it's not a big deal. Okay, we got a fair amount of offices that built up over here. I didn't even notice. That's good. Um, should we? I'm gonna put a, another little bit of offices on here. I guess that's not gonna be good enough for us to have one there. Alright, let's just go up to here. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's go one more. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm almost thinking of putting the bus depot over here, maybe. I was, I've been looking around in the city for a place to put it, and I'm kind of thinking maybe over here, but I was kind of hoping to do it in an area. Yeah, maybe, maybe over here. But I was, what I was planning to do was, I was planning to put a road down. I was planning to put two to four bus depots on each side, put an office building down, and then make a little bit of a transfer station in front, kind of, you know, make it the all-around area, make it like the, the main headquarters, you know, with the offices, as well as where the buses are stored, as well as a transfer station for everybody as well, so that may work out. Um, I kind of want to work on this park a little bit, so what I had in mind over here, let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can do it, is I was going to... Uh, where are they at? There they are. I was going to put a pedestrian bridge over here and then not allow crossing right here. So if we go 2468, I think you can get away with 10 on these. Wow, I just... Okay. Um, I think you can get away with 10 on these because they're pretty high up. Yeah, that's, that's actually really tall. This just comes above the trees, though. And... Maybe this one could connect into a path, and then this one could, uh, I don't know, maybe it could come down. So, this one could kind of connect over to here. And then maybe this one could come straight down to a path that comes across here, possibly. Or, we could even do something like this. So, we were at 10, so now we're at 8. Now we're at six. Uh, that's gonna be a little too extreme. Maybe we should have done by twos. Uh, maybe we can connect. Well, maybe we can just come down the rest of the way, like right here. I don't know. I don't really like how that looks. Um, let's uh, let's try this again. So let's uh, let's go connect another. Thank you. Let's go by twos. What the? <laughs> Broke it so bad that it actually took out the other one. Okay, so go by twos. Go by twos. And then maybe actually just kind of do that. And then that can connect into whatever path that we have going on. I don't know. I don't know if I'd like that not really finding that look that I kind of had. I wasn't really sure what I was going for in my head. But, definitely wasn't that. So maybe something kind of along those lines. I guess that works. And I would like something that kind of connects into the convention center. I do have another events building that we could probably put in place of that. It looks a little bit better. But I just don't know if it supports the rush hour events, which I, uh, which is one of the reasons why I picked that building over some of the others I was going to use. 
So I just, I don't know if that does or not. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and see. I'm actually going to have to look something up. As my voice gives out on me here. So we'll kind of get this part going, I guess. Why not? We've already started building some of it. Might as well build the rest of it. Alright, so I'm thinking we'll kind of have a path that just kind of comes down the middle like that. Nothing too crazy. I, almost, I don't know if I like how that looks, though. We can kind of have something that kind of comes like that. And then maybe something that kind of connects in like that. Yeah, it doesn't look half bad. This, I don't know about. I'm really not sure about that. Maybe if it was closer together. Uh, uh, oh, it's auto-saving. I'm like, uh, why is... What's not working here? Yeah, it's not working for sure. Alright, let's, uh, so let's go for one instead. And then we'll do that. It wants to connect into that road. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, it does. Really? Why would you, why would you do that to me? Actually, I think that does look a little bit better. Is that pretty steep? That's not too bad. And then that could be just another way, you know, to get across over here, whether you're at the convention center. So I'm thinking maybe by doing that, right? Maybe we put a couple hotels along this stretch, you know, kind of being in, in conjunction with this. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's see, is our search tool working? I have a feeling that it's not. Oh, it actually opened up. Okay. OTL, maybe? Hopefully it won't crash the game. I'm kind of worried right now. Um, we have a couple of hotels that we could put down. Uh, what is this? Uh, I think that's a little too flashy. Maybe that can go into downtown. I think it's a little too flashy for this area. Um, I think that'll be in the tourist area. I don't want to use too many of these. Uh, no. I thought I had a few more than this, but maybe not. Is that like a UFO thing on the top? That thing's huge. That's just a small little... Wow, that's kind of a... Well, actually, no. It's just, I think, because of the color. Okay, I was going to say, that's a little sketchy, but no. No, nah, it's not. Maybe we can put it on the corner, like right here. And then we can put the park around it. That actually doesn't look too bad there. It's a nice little hotel near that. Um, I almost want to build another one right here. Let's see, is there something else I can fit in there? Oh wow, that's, that's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought. There's a joke that could be made there, I guess. Okay, that was the one we just put down. That's the one that we said was too flashy. Uh, that one's huge, but we'll be using that one later. Are these... Oh, these are. Okay. What else we got in here? Anything? Uh, that's actually not bad. That would kind of fit over here. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, I think that could actually fit in over here. Maybe not right next to the parking garage. Maybe a square. Okay. That was probably why it does not have a, uh, uh, a thumbnail. Okay. Well, that was uh, a little messed up, but oh well. All right. Let's, uh, let's grab the pathing tool again and connect into... All right. I guess that's how that's going to roll. Jeez. Let's have that come right down into that hotel there. Yeah. I kind of paid the city off to have... to help pay for that so that they could have that run right into their hotel. Right next to it anyways. Make it easy to walk to. Uh, what are these on the side flags? Oh, okay. British flags. Huh. Yeah, that, that kind of doesn't... Mm. Oh, well, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you. I really wasn't expecting that one, but oh, well. It's good. Uh, this area still needs to be fixed. Uh, we've been doing trees. Okay. Oh, three blocks of that. Okay. That was weird. Uh, sh more offices, or should we start putting some thinking... Possibly some housing. 
Uh, I'm thinking of housing across the street. I'm thinking maybe... Yeah, I'm thinking some commercial along here. So there's four and then doing some uh, offices in this area. And then that'll be kind of like the last of the offices over here. And then we'll start putting in housing as we get down here. Yeah, I like that idea. I think that'll work out pretty good. Uh, the freeway's sort of figuring itself out a little bit. Mm, not so much on this side. This side still... Well, it's actually cleared this area up, so that's good. Um, should we see if there's a car that can take us over the bridge? Yeah, we'll have a couple here in a second. Let's get to this interchange here, just to make sure they don't get off here. Okay, so let's take you, and you can get a nice little view, whatever you can see. It actually doesn't have to go up very high over here, which was nice. It's it's almost at ground level over here. There's downtown over there. There's the port right under us now. I don't know what symbol it has above it. I need to go check that out. But you can just about see downtown there. That's nice. There's the ocean over there. Uh, definitely was a big project, but I think it was worth it. I definitely, I think I can say it was worth it. Oh, we're going to go into the port. That's cool. This reminds me of uh, when you would go on, uh, when you'd ride the roller coasters in, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Look at the bridge that we just came off of. That looks really good. Just knowing that you were up there, like you get the feeling that you were up there, like that's, that's cool. That looks really good. Wish that window would get out of the way, but I can't do anything about it because I'd have to exit this mode, but oh well. Train tracks. Oh, that looks really good over there. Look at that. Oh, wow. And then those come in, and you have all the tanks over here. Some of those rail cars. I think sometimes things are just a little too shiny in this game. Especially after it rains. It's like the road just looks just like it's covered in ice. I upped the speed of this road, but I guess it didn't change. I thought I matched it with what that road was, but I guess not. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty incredible. Like, look at that. Wow, that looks really good. We have all the containers over there. We have the bridge. It just looks really nice. Okay, let's see what's going on with this guy. Uh, garbage has piled up. Really? I guess we could get them their own little thing out here. Um, where is it? <laughs> it's the rub the the garbage bin right there. Okay, I was actually gonna call it a rubbish rubbish bin. I don't remember. I don't think I've ever called. Huh. Interesting enough. Okay, where could we put this? We could put this up over here. Actually, that's not bad. Put that up over there. They'll get their own little trucks. They have water and apparently they have power because they're not complaining about it, so that's good. So then that'll give them their own little garbage service out here as well, which will be nice. As you can see, like there's a good amount of cars that are going onto this freeway too, which is nice. Like a fairly good amount. A lot of people coming out to this port, too. A lot of them are leaving the port. Oh, that's that's kind of interesting. Must be, uh, is it time to go home, maybe? But this road is still all messed up. Yeah, we probably just need to... They're all just using one right turn lane, and I don't... I don't quite understand, and it all seems to stem from this light, and them just... I mean, they're just refusing to use more than one lane. And I'm not... Fully convinced as to why at this point. We're going straight through there. We're, let's see if we can get an idea of where some of these guys might be going. If they're going all the way down, those guys are in that lane now. Uh, yeah, I would just assume that they're going down to these houses over here. There's actually quite a bit of population over here too, so we need to keep that in mind. Like more than we probably probably more than I think. I think I actually combined these two districts to. Uh, to get an idea, yes, I did. So there's probably 20,000? That would be a little too much. Uh, oh, way off. That's good. Actually, that's not even that big of a problem. It's really not what I was expecting to see, but we also do have a lot of employment over here, too. So well, this road's backing up. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'll fix this off camera. It's, it's sorting itself out a little bit as time goes on. I think it's just rush hour. We need some buses. We need to get some other transportation options going. We are opening another freeway, so 
you know, they won't have to rely so much on local roads. They can actually get on to this freeway and get over to here. So they don't have to try and get on one of these roads to get over to their house. So that'll be good. That's going to be a little bit of time. I think I'm going to do the uh, the interchange in a time lapse. It's usually what I do with those because those take a while. Like those can take me easily an hour to do. They're not, you know, they're not difficult. They're just time consuming trying to get everything looking right, you know. Me being a perfectionist about this and whatnot. Uh, not enough goods to sell. Alright. Well, that should be changing. We'll probably connect things up a little bit better. But I think it's because of this traffic jam over here. They're just having trouble getting in. Oh, wow. It's actually backing up over there. But actually, it's, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it could be. I mean, that's not to say it's bad, but... I don't know why so many people are just getting off at this exit. I'm not... I'm going to have to look into that and kind of, I wish I had my traffic report tool, but kind of track some of those cars down and just kind of see where, where they're all going. So, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all the other videos I do on this channel. And as always, thanks for watching.